The Two Frogs, a Japanese folktale. In Osaka, a seaside town in Japan, there once lived a large frog in a ditch. He hopped about in a field eating ants and beetles. Whenever a cat came close, he would jump into the ditch. One evening, as he sat croaking, he heard two cranes talking to each other. They were talking about Kyoto, a city of palaces. Even the Mikado lived in Kyoto. The Osaka frog decided to visit Kyoto. What a wonderful place it must be. Far away in Kyoto, a frog hopped about next to a stream. He liked to eat snails, spiders and even dragonflies when he could catch them. He had a great friend, a pond turtle. The turtle would even hide the frog when owls flew past at night. He knew a lot. One day he said, Frog, I wish I could travel. But I am so slow that it will take me very long to reach anywhere. Oh, I never knew you wanted to travel. If you could, where would you go? I would go to Osaka. It is next to the sea. Do you know what the sea is like, frog? I have heard that it is big, blue and has shoals of bright fish. There are many turtles in the sea, but they are more than 20 times bigger than me. Imagine! Turtle, my friend, I will go on this journey for you. I will see all I can and come back and tell you about it. So it came to pass that the Osaka frog and the Kyoto frog started on their journeys at the same time. Soon their paths would cross. Meanwhile, they hopped and hopped. On the way, they stopped at ponds, ditches, streams and even large puddles because frogs cannot stay dry for too long. Soon they reached a high hill. They began hopping up from opposite directions. Dense forests covered the hill. The sun would peep in from the treetops now and again, but it was cool and moist for the most part. Finally, as they reached the top of the hill, they saw a large, clear pool of water with pink, purple and red lilies. Frogs croaked loudly and hopped from one lily pad to another. The tired travellers were happy to reach the pool. As they splashed about, they bumped into each other. Soon, they were exchanging stories of their travels. The Osaka frog described how he had escaped from a stork's beak. The Kyoto frog croaked loudly and swelled up. This was to show how big he had become, so a snake had to let him go. Next morning, the two frogs decided to continue on their journeys. But as the sun rose above the horizon, they kept talking to each other. They were very tired and did not really want to go on alone. Suddenly, the Kyoto frog had an idea. As he shared the idea with his new friend, they both jumped for joy. The next moment, the frogs stood up on their hind legs, as people do, and hugged each other. They looked over each other's shoulders and saw their destinations with their own eyes. But they didn't seem to be at all excited about what they saw. Kyoto is exactly like Osaka, cried one. What a waste my entire journey has been. Yes, Osaka is the same as Kyoto, exclaimed the other. Both the frogs hopped back home. The towns of Osaka and Kyoto are as different as chalk and cheese. But for the rest of their lives, those frogs believed that they were identical. They never left the coziness of their homes again. Can you guess why they were mistaken? Well, if you look closely, frogs' eyes are at the back of the head. When the two frogs hugged each other, each of them was looking at the place he had come from. So they thought that the two towns were the same.